What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. So last week I reported on NTR Boot Hacks, which is this new way to actually hack any 3DS on any firmware using potentially a magnet, a DS flash cart, and a, another hacked 3DS, which I know some of you guys don't have a hack 3DS, so you're like, oh man, this means really nothing to me because I can't hack my 3DS without another hack 3DS. But that ends right now. So a new way to actually install NTR boot hacks to certain DS flash cards just popped up and it involves using a regular DS, non-hacked, regular DS. So what you're doing is you're actually putting a certain flash cart into a non-hacked DS and this flash cart has to be either an Ace Card 2i or an R4i Gold 3DS RTS, the DSi variants. So what you're actually doing is you're putting an NDS file onto one of these flash carts. That's the AK2i NTR card hacks flasher or the one for the DSi. And you're putting it on to the uh, the flash cart SD card, you're putting it into your DS, you're launching this NDS file, just like you'd launch any other game or homebrew on your regular DS, non-hacked. So once you put the flash cart in the DS, you launch the NDS file, you're then gonna load the flash ROM onto this flash cart. You're actually gonna pop the flash cart out, take the SD card out of the flash cart, put the flash cart back in, and you're going to rewrite the firmware of the flash cart itself. This is gonna render the flash cart unusable if it's an R4i. If it's an ACE card, it'll still work on a hacked 3DS, but it's going to rewrite the actual firmware to become an NTR boot hacksable card, where then you can take it and put it into your non-hack 3DS and use the magnet and you can actually hack a non-hack 3DS or 2DS of any kind on any firmware. Now, if it is a 2DS, you don't need the magnet because it's not a clamshell design. So you're just going to uh, you know, use the sleep switch. But if you're using any of the clamshell 3DSs, you would then put it right here. I know this is 3DS craft. I was trying it out for the last video. Anyways, yeah, you'd put the magnet around this area and yeah, you would trigger it. I'll put a link in the description to the actual guide once you have the NTR boot hacksable card. Now, let's say you don't have a DS, you don't have another hack 3DS. Well, you can get a, a regular DS for pretty cheap on Craigslist or eBay. I've seen them pop up on Craigslist for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. If you go on eBay, you can generally find them between 25 and $40, which really is not that much. The higher end, like special edition DSs go up to like 60 bucks and they come with some accessories or games. So really, it's not that expensive to hack your 3DS. This really increases the amount of people who can actually use NTR boot hacks by a large margin because there's so many people that just have like a regular DS just like laying around or know somebody who has a regular DS that they could borrow for two and a half seconds and pop in their flash cart and create an NTR boot hacks card. Now, if you want to actually take your card and revert it back to a usable flash cart, because it's not going to be a usable flash cart once it's an NTR boot hacks card, you will want to leave the installer open on your DS, you know, pop the card into your 3DS, install boot nine strap onto your 3DS, and then take that card and put it back into your DS that you've kept on this entire time. And it'll rewrite the, uh, the firmware to make it a regular flash card again. So if you're wanting to keep it, you know, flexible and keep it as a flash card, you will want to keep that application open on your DS. You also might be wondering, well, the 3DS can run DS games. Why can't I just pop it in the 3DS and load this file off the flash card? Well, turns out that Nintendo's banned quite a bit of DS flash carts on stock 3DS firmwares. There's a lot of blacklisted DS flash carts that are just simply not usable. So you must use a regular DS where they're not blacklisted and you can just use a flash cart just like you'd use it any other, any other way on a regular DS. So yeah, guys, this is honestly awesome. And it makes me want to go out there and buy a DS myself just so I can try all these different methods. I'm trying to get my flash cart currently. I've ordered one, but I, I fear that it may not be the correct one. But we'll just have to wait and see either way. I'll have one for testing TWL loader videos, and that'll be always awesome. I do want to also thank the following for being supporters of Pixel News and TC Pixel on Patreon. It really means a lot to me that you guys are supporting the channel through Patreon because YouTube ads really aren't bringing in a whole lot anymore, and it really helps the show, and it really helps me be able to invest more time into making these videos. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, there's a link in the description. Please check it out and consider it if you enjoy Pixel News or any other TC Pixel video at that. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Do you 
have a regular DS and a, a non-hack 3DS that you're considering doing this to, are you still just trying to get your hands on the freaking flash cart? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I always love to read what you guys got to say. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, big crew. Sometimes it is better to just walk away from things and go back to them later when you're in a better frame of mind.